Hi, I'm Kathy Burley, a resource coordinator for Kelly Miller Community Center. We are here at our Daily Bread Food Pantry. I'd like to introduce my partner, Hope. Hello, I'm Sherry James. <clears throat> I'm the program director for the Kelly Miller Community Center. It's located in Clarksburg, West Virginia. Uh, the Kelly Miller Community Center is owned and operated by the West Virginia Black Heritage Festival. Um, as Kathy said, we are here in the Our Daily Bread Food Pantry, and we just want to welcome you all. Our Daily Bread Food Pantry was started in November 2022 through the efforts of several community volunteers. Um, Kathy Burley and I spearheaded the project, in, and we actually opened in November 2022. Our Daily Bread Pantry serves uh, approximately 90 families, and we also get calls and referrals from state agencies, family members, and stuff. So we get uh, referrals too. So uh, right now we do a uh, uh, box monthly, but we get emergency calls. We get uh, people walking down the street. Mm -hmm. If we see someone walking down the street, we sometimes we come in, in the building, we ask them if they need a box, and we come in and, and fix a box for them. Yes, as Kathy said, we serve over 90 households uh, in Clarksburg. We recently increased that by 10. We are currently increasing, seeing an increase in unhoused folks uh, in need of food on a daily basis. Our target audience are uh, folks that uh, they just run out of money at the end of the month. Uh, we had started uh, last year with we was delivering to people who don't have transportation. Uh, that's one uh, people need food, but they don't have transportation to come and get a big box of food. So we deliver. They're so grateful for mm -hmm. uh, food, fresh fruit. We do fresh fruit, uh, uh, vegetables, and in the community because we just like giving them fresh uh, produce. Also, yes. sorry, we do about 20 deliveries a month mm -hmm. of uh, to different families that don't have transportation, elderly folks in the community that don't have transportation. We also uh, drop off food at the blessing boxes throughout the community. Okay, so we serve uh, several different types of households. Um, we have households uh, of folks that's one individual, and then we have families that we serve. Um, so this represents a household with a family, um, and this particular one is for a family of eight and this is a month's supply. And then we also have a box. This would serve a family of two, maybe two adults or a single mother with one child. And uh, this box is also a month's supply. We also have a box here for the unhoused. We try to put items in here that they can use that they don't have to cook. We have been able to, on a weekly basis, receive uh, food like produce, uh, meats like chicken and beef and poultry. Uh, fish, uh, fresh eggs, um, yeah. uh, milk, um, also uh, yeah. dry goods, and even non-food items. Um, so it's it's a, a large uh, amount of items coming into the building on a weekly basis, and uh, it would be very beneficial if we had more volunteers here to help us so that we can uh, meet capacity and exceed capacity. We're currently, uh, our growth rate is currently uh, probably doubled over the last year as far as uh, folks in need, and, but the amount of volunteers that we have hasn't changed. So it's very important. We are in need of volunteers. Uh, if you can give an hour, a week, or how much time you can give. Some of the things that we are in need of is to help us load and unload the food, help us prepare the food boxes, and also uh, to help deliver the food boxes. Um, and when you're here helping us for that one hour, you're not just helping us, you're helping the 90 households that we are assisting. In order for us to be sustainable, we have to be, we have to continually find funding and seek funding uh, to purchase the food items. So uh, funding is, 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 we do need volunteers, but we also need funding. Is, uh, to purchase the jelly and to purchase the oil and to purchase the meats and fruits and vegetables that, uh, that we are able to provide for these uh, households. If you wish to make a donation to the Our Daily Bread Food Pantry, 
Um, you can contact the Kelly Miller Community Center on the number provided on the screen and we'd be more than happy to accept a donation. If you'd like to donate by check, uh, write the check out to West Virginia Black Heritage Festival for In the Memo, please write our daily bread food pans with slash Kelly Miller. And we'll, and we really will appreciate any donations. So we'd like to thank our sponsors, Mountain Air Food Bank, Aldi's, a grocery store in Bridgeport, West Virginia, and the USDA, and all of our community partners. Thank you. Thank you.